Here we go. What's up, guys? 10 o'clock, about. Uh, we're going goon hunting. So yeah, pretty basic gravel road, <laughs> real, real small, slow trip back here, but uh, you can tell, the, you can hear the dogs ready to go. So we're gonna get back here, get set up, let the dog go, and we'll go see if we can get anything. All right, so I got the dog, got the collar all synced up, very important GPS, and so I can control them and get them to come back, but. Get the old 22 out here. And just as I suspected, I have the magazine in my other pants, so we're going to be running single shot today, I guess. Which is usually enough anyway, but got the gun there. Get some ammo here. It's a pocket full. So, and big spotlight for shooting, and we should be good to go. So, I'm gonna take a walk back and let the dog go to work and see what we can come up with. got some live action the dog's going off on something and I got something in a tree right next to me so I'm gonna set this up and see what I can do I'm maybe gonna let the dog go for a little bit but I think we got plenty of coons in here yeah he's fighting one on the ground over here I can hear the coon snarling at him so <laughs> this shit's so fucking exciting all right I gotta take care of business uh-oh uh-oh that sounded like sounded like the coon got him there. Fuck, I better go check this out. Hold on, let me load up this gun quick. Holy fuck. He's having a battle. Get him. Get him, boy. Good boy. Get him. Good boy. Good boy. Get him. Where is he? Holy shit, I think he got him. Is that him right there? I'm gonna see if he chases him out. Oh wait, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's up, he's got him treed. He's got him treed, he'll figure it out. You see him there? There we go. And I got low battery already. Okay, let's see if I can get a shot.
Got one round in them. Clinging onto that tree yet. Get him, boy. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Holy fuck, that scared me. I just dropped my remote. Get him. Get him, boy. Get him. Oh, he's coming out. He's coming out. Get him, boy. Right here, right here. I gotta get another round. Uh, but the fucking dog's on the other side. Get him. Good boy. Right on his tail. Come back around him, boy. Ooh, that's a big fucker. Let's see if he'll come out. Oh, there he goes. Oh, boy. Easy, boy. I got to get another round in him. Fight, dude, that thing rolled sideways. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him locked up. Whew. That is a big fucker. You get oh, that thing's still alive. I gotta see if I can get in here. Well, I'm gonna load up the gun and go in just in case. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him out. Get him. Good boy. Okay. Here we go. That was fucking, that thing is gigantic, dude. Okay, there's a coon. That's a 22 long rifle. So that thing, Jesus. Trigger got blood all over him, so I don't know. Come here, come here. Is that from the coon or? Here. Well, he's rolling around in the grass, so. All right, I gotta check the dog out, make sure he's all good. I think I knocked it out of the tree, and usually they're pretty injured by then, but one that big takes a lot more, so I'm gonna make sure the dog is okay, and 
maybe we'll try to go get that other one. I gotta, I gotta headshot them a little bit better, but I mean, the thing's freaking huge, so it's never easy when they're that big. Okay, I checked the dog out. He's covered in blood. I think most of it's from the coon. Uh, he did get one little kind of scrape or whatever on the right side of his jaw. It don't seem to be bothering him too much. Uh, I mean, you gotta be tough to be a coon hound, so I think we're gonna try to go get that other one, but I'm gonna give him like 10 minutes, see how he is kind of reacting to that cut, but I think he'll be all right. I'll have to I'll have to get a video while when we get back inside or whatever in the light but that was probably one of the harder fights that I've experienced and I just so happened to get it on video so kind of interesting I suppose uh, I'm gonna go check out about 50 yards down maybe 75 I saw some eyes in a tree so I'm gonna check that out if I can get a clean shot on that, I'm just going to go take it, so. Alright. Okay, we've got another one in the tree right here. I'm going to set this up and try to get a shot on it real quick. I think we're gonna be oh hold on I think we're gonna be two and done because this has been some intense shit tonight check it out There's a dog. You doing good, boy? You all right still? Seems like it. Number two. I didn't even, holy shit, don't blind myself here. I didn't even check the time really. But, I mean, I pulled up, let the dog out, saw that deer, walked about, 50 yards in I saw this fucker in the tree as that other, as I turned the lights on to go find the do dog barking at that other one came back to this one so I don't think it's been an hour yet and we're about 50 yards in to about this uh, dude I don't know it must be at least 500 acres or more but I think it's gonna be two and done because this has been some intense shit. I don't know how much of, you know, shooting them out of the trees and whatnot is gonna pick up on the video uh, until I watch it back. But uh, basically, that one just took four or five shots, hit it twice, went up the tree more, hit it twice more, and it came down the tree. Then it was fighting the dog, so I put another bullet in it. But I might have to start bringing the 20 gauge out. Jesus Christ. Drag these two back to the truck. Oh, here, I have about 10 minutes on this clip, and I had 17 on the other. So if we've been going a half hour yet, you know, maybe not even. But whew. all right, see you back in the truck when I load everything up. Okay, I'm back at the truck. Here's the seat. As you can see, I'm in the truck or outside of it. I'm going to leave I'm gonna leave the camera in the big light here um, I'm taking the gun back to go drag them two coons out but I thought I heard I well there was definitely something like right along the cornfield so there might be another one yet uh, I think I'm done after this though dog got pretty I don't know 
he he took a little bit more abuse than what I would like. Um, so it might be done to not risk it any farther, but uh, definitely gonna have to come back here tomorrow night probably and see what else I. Okay, I'm back home now. So as I was saying, we were only like 50 yards in and on that piece of state land, you can literally go for like a mile all the way across. It's a huge chunk. So there's plenty more hunting we could have done. Uh, the dog is bleeding, but he seems to be fine because we got home and he took off and had to go sniff some other things out. So when he comes back in, I'll check him out and uh, clean him up a little bit with a warm washcloth or whatever and he'll be fine but uh, you know I'm out there by myself you know far away from anything you kind of in the middle of nowhere in the pitch dark so sometimes it's better to play things safe than sorry and when I watch this back I'll probably be able to tell like the adrenaline that kind of kicks in because like I, you and the dog out there and then you got these you know vicious raccoons and I don't know it's uh it doesn't get old so I'm gonna wait for the dog back in and or the dog to come back in or I'll call him in in a minute here but uh we'll check him out he's back let's check you out huh come here So this collar, hold on. That so that's tainted red. This right here tainted red. Just bloody as all hell. I think uh he might have got it in the Yeah, he's just got a little scrape in the ear there. He's not going to let me see that, but I think that's all. And then Hold on, boy. Here, here. Good boy. Good boy. See that little bit there? Here, boy. Got that little bit there. So, let's see. Good boy. Good boy. Right there. That little bit on his jaw. The rest of this, I, this blood all got to be from the coons, though. From multiple rounds in them and stuff so but not bleeding too bad just a little on the ears and whatnot so he'll be all right so yeah it's you know rather than risking them fighting another one and getting hurt any farther uh call it an early night got two in about a half hour so call it an early night and edit this and upload it so if you enjoyed, subscribe and leave a like or a comment and whatnot, you know, all that stuff. Uh, and yeah, tomorrow is going to be farming video for all the people that have watched this channel. That'll be farming video because I'm helping out my neighbor and whatnot. And then uh, Sunday, Lake Michigan's 10 to 13 foot waves, so we'll be going surfing. So. Should be plenty of good stuff this weekend. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.